Hey guys, welcome back to the Vintage Fern. I have a thread up 30 pounds of DIY denim to share with you guys. This is from Phoenix, Arizona. I have not ordered a denim box in a very long time. Um, I kind of just steered away from clothing for a while, was focusing on shoes. But as we know, thread up boxes, especially shoes and handbags, are just really hard to come by currently. So kind of just getting what I can get right now and hoping I can get some good things and just kind of diversify my closet once again um, and list some things I wouldn't normally pick up. So let's see what we have. I know these boxes are so hit or miss, so I'm not expecting really anything but these are it jeans los angeles diva size 29 regular never heard of these there is like a makeup mark on there i thought it was paint but it came off but yeah these are like kind of like a boot cut Jean, no idea about those. Not expecting really anything from them. Okay. What is this? Um. <laughs> so this is raw, raw cotton. Okay. Oh, I think I know what it does. Hold on. I thought they sent me like pieces of something the way that was. But this is a skirt. I've not heard of this brand either, but it looks very salvaged, but I don't really know what it is. But it was shorts, but it kind of has this little skirt thing over it. I feel like there are some marks, like kind of fading, so I don't know if that's part of it. Like you can see it right there. But yeah, raw, raw cotton, size medium. Looks like could be a boutique thing, but then also it's just hard to tell with something so unique. It could be something decent, but I will find out. These are Liverpool, the ankle legging. Um, petite 4 slash 27 so they're just a pull on um, elastic legging jean jegging I guess okay I'm gonna kind of move this box and just grab a bunch because it's bothering me this thing we have old navy flare size 14 it's not really flare in my opinion. Sorry, I don't know if someone did cut those off to create the distressed hem or not, but ooh, there's definitely wear in the crotch area, so that might be a garbage pair. And this is S Saints Blue, STS Blue, size 27. I have not heard of this brand either, but it does have the raw hem. So that is on style, on trend, still currently. Don't think it's as sought after anymore, but still pretty popular. And we have seven for all mankind, high waist boot cut, size 27. It's the back. is a little chafed, whatever, in the crotch area. Hate saying that, but yeah, these should do okay. Won't go for near as much as they would have used to, but still it's high rise at least. Then we have cut from the cloth. Um, it looks like the and Andrea short, and it looks like the size was cut out but it is a larger size, which is good. So I will measure these, um, but it has cute hems there and it looks like pretty good condition. 
So that's nice. Grab the next bunch here. Sorry, I'm all in your face. Okay, these are Levi 501s, made in Japan. I feel like these are kind of sought after. There's the made in Japan, and there's the Levi. Um, 501 CT customized and tapered. Huh. Not seeing. Okay. Twenty nine thirty two. So I'm guessing these are women's, but I guess a boyfriend type fit. But yeah, that's really cool. Have you guys seen that before? Like, made in Japan? It's a button fly. Huh. I'll show you again. So definitely we'll look into that. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Here's true religion, size 24. Definitely outdated. They're like, the Capri Bermuda tight pants and look at how short this little inseam is. It's funny. Um, this is Melissa McCarthy with 7-7. Seven, seven. This is pencil. Four-way stretch, size 24W, so that's a good size. Um, I'll be double-checking for any, here's the, that, says Melissa McCarthy, and it's kind of faded, so that's how I can tell it's been worn. Um, but this line, like, I remember once I... When I first started, I picked up 7-7, seven, seven, thinking it was 7 for all mankind, and I think I ended up selling it, but like I could not give it away, like it was, I lost my money on them. But the Melissa McCarthy 7-7 um, seven, seven collab does pretty well just because it is larger sizes and it is a good pair of jeans. So hopefully we'll get something. For those, these are seven for all mankind, Blair jean, high waist, ankle skinny, size 29. Definitely is a little bit um, thin and kind of puckered in the crotch butt area. And this is unraveling. So I'll make sure it's not like on the verge of like ripping. But otherwise, these would have done okay, but with it being this worn, um, won't get a lot, but I think it will still sell just because it's the high rise skinny. We have Rockin' Republic, exclusively for Neiman Marcus. And, let's see, I've never, received this brand before. I know it does pretty well. I don't know if it still does, but I'm not seeing a size. Oh, here it is, size 27. But yeah, these are look pretty good shape. So, nice, not bad. This is U.S. Polo Association Cassidy Boot Cut, size 13, 14, so juniors. Definitely not great quality. It's very faded there, so probably redonate, maybe trash. And these are Gap, two years toddler jegging. A little patriotic print on there. 
And these are J. Crew 3230s. Lots of puckering, unfortunately. So probably won't do anything with those. And these are Rolas, size 27, Aussie 9. East Coast ankle, high rise, super skinny. These seem like really good quality. So that is on the back. And just the kind of marketing says good day, mate. Uh, makes me feel like it could be a decent brand. But some of those Australian brands are high end, but they just don't make it to the US and the resale value is just not that great, unfortunately. And then these are American Eagle. Um, next level stretch. High rise jegging, size four short. Pretty kind of faded unless they're meant to be. Maybe a little puckering too. Hollister, one short. Nothing exciting. American Eagle, high rise jegging, size zero short, lots of shorts. But the fact that it's high rise does have some puckering though, but I think still be able to sell it for a little something. Okay. Yeah, they packed a lot in this 30 pound box. Next is page 29, very worn, and page just seems to always be puckered. Don't know why, but yeah, it's like all over and even kind of like thinning out here. So probably trash. Wow. Laser jeans, size 18. Very outdated, very 2000s style. Very funny, honestly, very funny. These are size 30 average, whatever that means. All I see on these is like A on the button, Avenue Denim. Um, but these are too pretty destroyed. There's like that, like a rip almost right here. It's hard to see. So those probably have to go. Bull had super skinny three regular, so juniors, but seem to be good shape. Just a classic dark wash skinny jean. Forever 21, size 28, high rise, skinny, dark wash. And I'll grab the rest of these real quick. Okay. These are Gloria Vanderbilt, which is what you see at every other jean in Goodwill, every other jean when you're flipping through is Gloria Vanderbilt, which is sold at Walmart, but not even good condition. These are Unina, size 2XL. And I don't know what all those markings are, if that would come out. Otherwise, they're kind of cute, like destroyed white jeans, but yeah, all those black marks. Don't know how that happened. But that brand sold at, I know, Francesca's, but I'm sure elsewhere too. Another American Eagle, skinny, size 10 regular. These are just kind of destroyed. Skinnies, a good size. And then we have Rockin' Republic. Again. I think the size is worn out. All right, Rockin' Republic. 
That's the Kohl's version, isn't it? Now I'm confused. But just a black jean. They're nice condition, but like I said, they don't have the size. Then these kid ones are PSNY, size four. Never heard of that. Bullhead black, so another juniors. Straight, size three. Very low rise. And then our last pair is another kids. Cherokee, size four. So here's my huge pile of all these jeans. So not bad. I've had some better boxes, I'd say, but a lot of kind of, I don't know, $15, $20 sales, I would say. Um, quite a few I'll end up having to donate or trash, which is common. It is DIY, but I don't even know how many there are, but with it being, I think, 50 ship to your door for 30 pounds, it's really not that bad. So yeah, I'll get what I can salvage, I guess, get listed and roll in those $15, $20 sales, but hopefully I have a couple, I feel like there was a couple that are more 25 to $35 range. So let me know what you guys think. Have you had any luck with the denim box lately? I know there's so much like it's terrible or people have gotten, you know, new a tag girlfriend or good American whatever. But yeah, let me know and stay tuned for more videos as I show my unboxings and my thrift hauls. So thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you later. Bye!